Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 23 on our Brokock SMB server. Uh, I'm just kind of over in the base and just doing some cleanup. It's been a little while, as you know, since I've been on the server. So, um, well, I'm trying to think of what I need to do because I've got a lot of things I want to get done. Uh, just going around cleaning up a little bit. Uh, I'm over at the uh, shipping area right now. And uh, I was looking down, there's a few uh, ores and stuff that's down here that I haven't gotten. So I figured I might as well come over here and clean up what needed to be done and see what I can get out of it. Yeah, that's the problem with some of this is there's just a, a lot of uh, crevices and stuff that go down and there's water in some of it. I don't really have problems with mobs in it because uh, it's the Mushroom Island, but And so I'm kind of lucky there. I don't have to worry about uh, some of the mobs. But I do have some mobs sometimes that wash up in some of the water areas. They'll, they'll show up down here. Okay, I'm back up to the front now. That kind of made itself away and round. See if I get a bed on me so I can sleep. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. Let's see. There we go. So I hope everyone's having a, a good week or had a good week. Uh, time this comes out, it'll probably be on the weekend. Uh, probably the earliest is Friday. And as you've seen probably in the last video, I've cleaned up. I had a lot of trees in there I was going to use to to use to make the boats and stuff in here. But uh, I figured I'd go ahead and get that cleaned up. I probably need to, just to, for you know getting things done, I need to go through and Maybe take this down another uh, block or two. I don't. I don't think I really need to do. That. I think I want to leave it at the height it is, so the water comes in. Will still be a block above the water, actually. But I need to figure out if I want to cover those holes up or leave them. And then the same thing with uh, all these holes in the floor. I think I need to need to cover them up. And that way we can move forward. And then. Uh, we'll probably take out this uh, diorite too. I don't, I don't want that in my floor. So, don't mind having a regular stone. I, I don't. It's not that I dislike diorite. It's, it looks a little bit better now um, with some of the poly stone. I think of the new textures and stuff. But okay, does it go down a few block, few blocks here? It looks like it does. Okay, so what I want to do is go ahead and put stone in here. Um, and this is kind of the, maybe some of the boring stuff for people to watch, but kind of let you know my thinking, I guess, and what I'm, what I'm doing. Uh, it's been so long since I've been on here, it's kind of, it's kind of hard for me to actually think about what I want to get done because I as if you've watched the, uh, the other videos I've got so many things I want to get done all right let's see I got some stone I uh, guess I could just throw that in here and let's go ahead and break this out but um, like so on this episode I uh, it's a good thing I've got <laughs> my soap touch otherwise I'll be making a lot of cobble uh, I just need to get a lot of this stuff done so that I can start working on other things. Um, let's see. That's my wood chest, stone, some bricks, slabs. Okay, let's go ahead and use this one. I think I got stuff in it for it. Okay, we can use the stone. I don't want all this stone brick. I don't mind having some of it because then it shows like, you know, it's been worked on. Close up here. Um, I guess I could go ahead and do this here too. We'll just take that dirt out as a way to get out of here. Uh, let's go ahead and 
put it to there. I'd cover up some of this dirt here uh, with uh, stone bricks too and slabs to get rid of the mycelium because I wanted it to all be grass. But I mean, this is going to be open anyway later on with the water. Uh, let's see. Looks like we got this side done fairly well. I probably will have stairs going up to this too, kind of like what I did in the front to go to the top. So we'll get those worked on later. I don't know what I'm going to get done this episode, so uh, when I title the episode later on the video, uh, that's when I'll know what I've got done and where we're going from there. Um, there we go. So like I said, I hope everybody's having a good weekend or a good week and uh, have a good start to the weekend, depending on when I put up the video. Okay, I need to take out those. Okay, that was the stone one. I still don't have my internet situation completely uh, taken care of right now. I've got my backup and that's what I'm using right now. Uh, the, my, main, my main ISP, I uh, talked to them yesterday and Still just kind of a disappointing situation uh, I, on what they consider the business plan, but it seems like they're not really treating me as like a business. And that's kind of, I told them about my frustrations about that yesterday. Um, and so they're supposed to be addressing that. They're working on a new installation that will service my area, but uh, they're telling me that could take uh, 30 to 60 more days which, you know, it's definitely frustrating. And so you can't just stop doing anything because I don't have internet. But when it first started out, I just kind of how I felt. I just didn't, I couldn't really, I mean, I could have worked on some uh, personal videos and stuff, but I couldn't really do anything on a broke rock server. And that was really kind of just frustrating for me. Uh, you know, people were talking and saying, you know, I'm quitting or whatever. It's, that wasn't the case. I really did have, I really do have the issue with, with my ISP. So, uh, and, you know, I, I probably lost a few subscribers from that. And uh, that kind of, that kind of bites as I enjoy doing this. But I, I kind of want to make this uh, maybe a full-time thing or one, sooner or later if I can. So that's kind of what I'm working on there. Uh, let's see. I need to come out to here. So we need to fill these up. Uh, it's polished. I don't want that. And it seems like maybe uh, playing on on the, on the Brook Rock servers died down a little bit because I don't see as many people on here now. Even the few times that I've been able to get on, so so hopefully people will start back pretty soon and start playing again. I know there's some other things that people are playing, and uh, you know you do get bored at times, and you want to be able to play something else. That's that's always good. So. But this was uh, supposed to be a long-term uh, server. And so that's kind of way I've been playing it out. I think maybe, I don't know, we've talked about it, maybe a year's too long to go for a season. Unless you're breaking it up and doing other things in it. So we'll have to see what the guys got planned. Um, I know Fizz and, and Sim both have been doing other things, so not necessarily on the server that I've seen, but but like I said, you get bored, life happens. I know Sin had to move too, and so he's had some things come up, and you know it's just part of life. You, but uh, we'll see soon what's going on with everything. 
I think I made this so it, it'd go down an angle a little bit more, but compared to my doors, I think I need to have it uh, at this size. So that's kind of where I'm going from there. If you guys have seen me build this before and then I'm taking it out or putting it back now after I've taken it out already. And let's see, it might end right there. So we go there. Still need to go up one more. I think my now my mouse not, might not be cleaned a little bit too. Or it could be just from playing one version of Minecraft and playing another. It's doesn't quite place blocks the same as well. I think it's always been a case for uh, the Bedrock version it doesn't place blocks as well as um, Java does. And here we go. Now I've got a, a few blocks of uh, andesite here too. I'll probably leave that in there too. Um, it may be showing like a little bit of age. And instead of clicking, I, I a lot of times I'm just holding down. Works pretty good in Java. Uh, not so much in uh, the Bedrock version, though. Works pretty good when I get close and, and misplace a block. <laughs> it works. <laughs> but when I want it to, you know, it's a little bit slower. Hope everyone's, like I said, you know, I've repeated a few times here now. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, uh, let, let me know what games you guys are playing nowadays, too. Uh, for something other than Minecraft you'd like to see. I'm, I'm really considering uh, playing some Terraria on, on the channel. Uh, They've got a lot of updates coming on the different versions. I played on mobile, console, uh, and PC all, and all, all of the versions are getting updates. So it's kind of nice, and they're all free updates. It's not like you got to pay for the DLCs. Uh, that's one thing that uh, Relogic, the company that makes uh, Terraria, has uh, really done for the community, you know, which is nice. You're not hitting, getting hit with, okay, we've got new content for you guys. It's really cool content, but you got to pay for it. Uh, they make really cool content and you know, it's provided as part of the game. So If you guys haven't checked them out check them out. This is it's a pretty fun game Everybody compares it to uh, Minecraft, but it's not it's not a Minecraft game uh, You got some similarities as you play with some square blocks, but it's a, it's a 2d platformer It's got tons of bosses in it thousands of items in the game and it's it's a pretty polished game I mean you got exploring in it. You got uh, fishing. You got bosses to fight. You got uh, different events that happen. So there is really, really a, a lots of stuff for you to do. So I'm, I'm like this on the same side over here. I need to build this back up. So let's grab some. I need to go back to grab my shulker. But if you think I'm just kind of rambling, that's <laughs> that's kind of what I'm doing, thinking about right now. I. Like I said, I got a lot of stuff on my mind, a lot of things I want to get done. And all right, there we go. And uh, it's one good thing about the server, though. It's we've got a lot of people doing a lot of different things. Like I said, uh, some of the guys are playing different games and stuff, which that's pretty cool too. Uh, let's see here. Let's throw down some uh, stone bricks for different things. Got a lot of dirt on this side. Um, I guess there's a little bit over there too, but let's clean up as much as we can here. See the rest of this dirt, so. I 
Um, I've kind of been watching Hightail, but they've kind of, the information I've seen on them has kind of died off. I don't know if they're getting ready to release and they're just not releasing any more information to the public or what's going on there. So uh, we'll find out hopefully in a, you know, soon Let's know what's going on there. It looks like it, you know, kind of a fun, interesting game too. So. Kind of Minecraft like, you know, but, you know, like an updated, uh, you know, updated game. And looks a little bit more polished, but, you know, until it comes out, we really won't know what's going on with it. Uh, a lot of times in the gameplay, when you see videos like that, uh, you know, they're optimized to be the best. And it's not always uh, uh, what the game is actually going to be like. And we've seen that with even a Minecraft with the super duper graphics pack, what it's supposed to be, and uh, never come in. It's never came to fruition yet, which is sad because it uh, did look pretty awesome. Uh, but we'll find out. Well, I mean, it's you know they they know that uh, they kind of messed up on that, saying they would release it, and then there's nothing been released. So uh, they kind of backpedaled. I guess the maybe the advertising or publishing team didn't really get in with the uh, developers and knowing what could be really done at the time so the response i've seen is that they have to rewrite the engine the lighting engine for it to happen so but i mean if that's the case and they realize it i guess that's a good thing um, you know it's better to wait and have something that works rather than push out something that's just junk you know, then you just have more complaints, you know, you didn't get it out and now it's no good. So personally, I'd rather wait and have a good release. And so we'll see, see what they do about that. Like, again, I'm, I'm just going through and trying to spot uh, some of these blocks. I guess I can throw in my these items, too. So we'll talk about a little bit of everything today and while I'm uh, working on this. Uh, I used to be just a uh, first person shooter type guy. Played a lot of Halo and then that got kind of uh, not any fun anymore. Too many trolls on the game. So I, I quit playing it online. But uh, I still like the game. Uh, last two releases have not been my favorite. Uh, Halo 4 and 5. Um, so I hope they really do some justice to the game when they, they come out with Halo Infinite. Uh, back to the Master Chief, you know, his story. Uh, rather than trying to introduce any new characters. Uh, sometimes new characters are good, but, you know, when everybody thinks about Halo, for me anyway, I'm thinking about the Master Chief and Cortana. Those are the two characters that that uh, bring it to me. Of course, there's a sergeant, and it, it's, you know, it's, it makes it pretty interesting. But, the, you know, talking about the main characters trying to push a new characters okay especially if you want to do storylines and uh, maybe uh, if you're working on like a movie or TV series I think that would be pretty pretty cool you can you know take the story a little bit in a different perspective but for the gameplay unless you're you're making a different game I mean that you kind of ought to stick to the main characters so that's my thoughts on it. Again, we're just doing some mindless mining right now. Um, see, I don't need to take that block out. Mining and placing blocks. It's all about what you do in Minecraft, right? Of course you do. There's a lot of builds. That's one of the other things that I like about Minecraft. It's kind of one of the things I like about Terraria, too, is that you can build farms and uh, make the game do things it's not necessarily that it was intended to do, but uh, make it more fun and exciting and uh, 
just build a quality of life in the gaming system that works for you rather than just grinding out having to pick up things um, or uh, mining you know you, you get some of the things that you can do which is nice I do have this big waterway here the water ravine um, it's not a real easy way to take care of that so I'm just going to cover it up for now that may turn out to be something for me later on uh, to get into the base and everything but uh, or maybe just an exit out of this to the ocean because that's be closer to the ocean than to the base over here so lots of ideas but you know in life you only have so much time so you gotta figure out what the priority is that's why I'm, you know, I ask you guys if for something you would like to see. Uh, makes it a little easier for me, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Less time spending what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, because I, I do try to think about what I want to do in the game, uh, rather than just getting on and uh, doing things. I don't script it like, you know, some people would think. Uh, I usually have ideas, and then when I come on, I do those. So it may, may come across that way, but it's not necessarily the plan. But we've been on for close to 20 minutes now. And uh, we're getting this cleaned up a little bit, which is good because it's something I've been putting off, but I know it needed to be done. So we'll get this done, and I may do a little bit of a fast forward through it So, whoa, <laughs> it's a good thing I got some uh, good boots on. <laughs> oh, let's see. Didn't mean to do that. But it wouldn't be as funny as if I did. Okay, guys, uh, if you waited around this long, I wanted to show you something to uh, uh, kind of give you a, a lowdown of what, have I, what I use for my tools and boots for right now. Uh, I think my bullet's pretty much maxed out. I got flame worn on it. Uh, let's go into an inventory here. I got flame worn, uh, unbreaking three, punch two, infinity worn, and power five. That's, to me, that's the best bowl you could have. Maybe you could arrange the. Uh, the different enchantments in, in a different area to, to work a little bit better maybe but uh, to me that's the best I I don't agree with mending you know you could get an infinite arrows because there's been too many times uh, where I, I run down to one arrow you know either in the nether or some other place like that and it, it takes up room in your inventory too I mean 
in this version you can throw the arrow up there and you're, you're good to go um, there's not a lot of other things that you can put in your offhand right now I mean of course you can do shields I don't really use shields too much myself um, but they they definitely is a use for it I probably should use them a little more than what uh, I do since I don't use them uh, for my uh, a uh, sword I wish we would have sweeping edge which we don't have right now uh, never I haven't seen anybody talk about being able to get that into um, uh, bedrock edition every time I ask about it it's kind of ignored so uh, so for me sharpness 5 looting 3 fire aspect 2 uh, and break 3 and mending one is my best sword uh, I don't like knockback because if I'm getting into a fight or you're fighting a boss or something you don't want them being pushed back and then have to re-engage them again it's best just to engage them especially if you got a, a good sword like this just taking case for like Enderman, you're in the end and you're going to do some looting and in the end you need some more ender pearls you don't want the Enderman to keep getting knocked back you want them to come up and be able to hit them a couple times so that's my preference for the swords um, and on my picks i usually like to have two different types of picks uh, one is silk touch and then the fortune i usually leave my fortune back in my ender chest or i'll, I'll leave it back at the base uh, just so i don't lose it uh, if I'm starting out, I may take it with me if I don't have a silk touch yet. But that's kind of a little bit, you know, the decision on that. And then I've got unbreaking, efficiency four, and mending one. I don't go with efficiency five tools on uh, in bedrock because uh, they just ram through stuff and you end up breaking more, especially if you're, you're working on a build. It seems like then uh, how much they help out. So. If you, you know, if I had a lot of digging I needed to do and I just wanted to wipe out something, I'd rather have, you know, go ahead and get a, uh, a beacon. I know that's not as easy as it sounds, but uh, we already have beacons. We got them pretty early on in the game. So to me, again, this would be like the best. And then I can come back and fortune all of my my ores and uh, uh, all your your different types of things that you need to do with like a redstone and, or even coal. So. My axe, I, I like to have a silk touch axe too. And the uh, reason for that is uh, for pumpkins, I mean uh, melons. It's basically the only thing I use it for where it gives me an advantage. That way it's not breaking down, especially if you want to have some melons for a decoration and stuff. You don't have to recombine nine of them. Uh, and we got sharpness and breaking three. Mending and efficiency because that works good for uh, you know just chopping down trees and stuff. Um, same way with the shovel. Sometimes you want to be able to get that the grass if you're modifying an area, so you need some grass blocks instead of just dirt. So again, you know you got the I'm breaking three efficiency. My efficiency is a little bit low on this, but that's okay. Uh, I was doing a, a lot of dirt digging and stuff, so that's why I had my just a regular uh, uh, diamond uh, shovel too. And then on my my armor here a lot of times I'll go for instead of just uh, regular uh, protection for I'll do a different type like projectile uh, fire protection and maybe blast protection because you come up against a different mob or something you know it helps I mean protection four is a good overall and so if you want to use that there's nothing wrong with it but I usually don't use thorns either because uh, you know working with villagers and stuff <laughs> it's a good way to kill them uh, but for for the helmet it's always good to have respiration three and uh, looks like a missing worn item there on on that for my helmet um, the build of sea in the water but I I don't really need that because I have I'm using a pack but I got protection four I'm breaking three and mending on my my chest plate my leggings I got protect protection for and breaking and mending um, are my leggings and then on my my boots I've got the feather falling four which you know helped me out while ago so I don't take as much damage blast protection for and breaking and mending okay guys if you stick around and you've seen this hopefully uh, you know just a little bit kind of updates what I use and what I like uh, in case you wondered I appreciate you sticking around and hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you on the next video guys bye
giving up, letting go Times when you might feel 